name's Ryan Burns. Today I'm going to be demonstrating a rig that I built to show the change in yawing moment of a large propeller aircraft due to a uh, pitching motion. So change about your z-axis due to an input about your y-axis in typical terms. So just to go over the rig real fast, you'll notice very simple stuff. Most of this you can find very easily at a craft store, hobby store. Personally, I found a lot of this around my fraternity from various projects that got thrown out. So, you know, a couple two by fours for your inertial frame, a uh, particle board for your base. Uh, my propeller is going to be modeled by a disc, a little more on that later. Uh, but just a simple piece of cardboard. You have cigarette carton plane powered by a craft engine uh, that you can get at, you know, any sort of hobby or craft store and a 9 volt battery battery with a simple circuit to keep it rolling uh, and then held in place by some piano wire to keep it from moving too far uh, in that direction so essentially what this rig does is you're able to the user here has a crank and they're going to be able to input a pitching motion so here or here uh, and then we'll see what happens here in the yaw axis. If you're interested a little more on the math side of things, uh, there are some constants that need to be derived to get a good equation for that. It kind of goes over that at the bottom, but the big ones that you need are your moment of inertia of the propeller here, which is the reason I chose the disc. Uh, moment of inertia of disc are very easy, and you can see the formula that I went to derive that below. The second constant that you need is the spring constant. So essentially the system on the piano wire acts as a torsional spring. Uh, and so what I did to measure that is I just cranked this up to this position here, got it to equilibrium, hung a weight off the side and saw how much it deflected. So you get an angle that it deflects, measure that against the force that you put on it, you have a torsional spring constant. Finally what you needed was the, uh, the rotation sorry, the uh, annular rotation of the disc, that I ripped straight from the, the engine specs. So I uh, listed this engine for a 9-volt battery, is 24,000 RPMs. You can convert that to radians per second to make the formula look a little easier. So uh, let's get this thing rolling. Sorry, a little trouble with the circuit. Uh, I stress the fact that I'm an aerospace engineer and not an electrical engineer. So, you get this guy going here, you pitch down, run it that way. Pitch her up, run it that way. And there you go. So, ever in a dog fight with an old school Japanese fighter plane, pitch up, pitch down, they won't be able to follow you. And that's about it.